I believe with uh, the advent of acid, we discovered a new way to think. And it had to do with piecing together new thoughts in your mind that produced people like uh, Bob Dylan and John Lennon and William S. Burroughs that were using new images together in a way that uh, jarred the mind and, and produced images that uh, were latent in our consciousness, but were not being brought about by reading uh, Vanity Fair or Woman's Home Companion. Awed by the power of the drug, Kesey began to distribute it to his friends. Across America, LSD was leaking out of the laboratory. I've always thought that this is one of those things that proves that God has a sense of humor, that if Gabriel come up and says, hey, uh, chief, the uh, Americans are really messed up down there. We're going to have to do something to straighten them out. They've got a nosedive karma going on. And God says, well, send them some of that stuff you've been working on, that uh, acid stuff, uh, and have the CIA distribute it. You can hear the celestial laughter when, when you realize it was the CIA that really turned on America. <laughs> I think that something happened in the early 60s that LSD was related to, music was related to, there was, there was new movement in cinema and in stage, uh, and maybe that once a century something goes off like a century flower. LSD was just perhaps the pollen that, that fell off of it, but it, uh, it didn't make it happen. It was part of it. There's... Uh, 27,000 people a year killed here in alcohol-related deaths. You don't see any big thing about alcohol being evil. There's how many people smoking and dying of it? How many of all of these? And yet, nobody's been killed. Why is it that people think it's so evil? What is it about it that, that is, scares people so deeply? Even the guy that invented it, what is it? Because they're afraid that there's more to reality than they have confronted. That there are doors that they're afraid to go in and they don't want us to go in there either because if we go in, we might learn something that they don't know. And that makes us a little out of their control.